Researchers have adapted a miniature alga you're probably more familiar with as a dietary supplement, spirulina platensis, and turned it into a tiny swimming robot. For decades, engineers have tried to build medical robots that can deliver drugs or perform surgery inside the human body. But powering these tiny machines has been a challenge since most potential fuels are toxic to the body. And even if you can get them moving, how do you steer? In this case, researchers turn to magnetism. The team developed a one-step method for magnetization by dipping millions of spirulina into iron oxide nanoparticles. They're dipped for certain durations to allow the alga's natural fluorescent glow to remain visible under fluorescence microscopes. Now, a magnetic field can move the magnetized spirulina through a body. The spiral shape of spirulina makes it ideal for this type of control. By manipulating it with magnets, it can be twirled forward or backward. When the magnetic micro swimmer gets too deep for its fluorescence to be detected, then the team can rely on magnetic resonance imaging to track it. The microbot degrades in hours or days, depending on the thickness of the magnetic coating, yet doesn't damage most cells, with one exception, cancer cells. When exposed to the microbots, here in red, only 10% of cancer cells lasted 48 hours. Tests indicate spirulina produces a compound that's toxic just to cancer cells. Even though researchers have created a mini biohybrid that can be steered and tracked, there's a lot more work to be done before these tiny machines are ready for doctors to use. Next, the team will try to get the microbots to carry and deliver cargo, such as life-saving drugs. <laughs>